My wife picked it up this morning on Domestic Dominion. And she shared it from the principles of 1 Corinthians, in chapter 7 on marital dominion, marital as well as uh, sexual uh, relationships in the bed, bed being honorable above all and, and marriage being honorable above, above all and the bed being undefiled. And she took that in, with 1 Corinthians 7 on defrauding and rendering. And she shared the ordinances of defrauding and, and rendering so that there can become, you can set the dominion on the bedroom, if you would, set the dominion on of Christ where you can have freedom and liberty uh, without satanic and demonic activity and all this marital frustration today and sexual conflicts that people are having. Someone's unhappy, resentful, and she shared from the principle that many of the marriages uh, are unfulfilled and unsatisfied sexually, not interested anymore after a year or two of marriage, <clears throat> because there's a lot of judgments and unforgiveness and resentfulness, bitterness. It says of the husbands, be not bitter against your wives, and that word bitter means ac acrid or acidic, and at times you can tell when the husband's becoming bitter against his wife and he speaks to her, there's a little bit of spit of of acid, battery acid, it comes out and she feels it all the time, she feels the pain, the hurt of it. But at that point, they have already have a problem in e emotional, psychological, sexual relationships are no longer in the picture. People are not interested anymore. So she shared it very, very fluidly this morning about the husbands and then the wives who also defraud, which is through deception. I don't feel good. I'm not in the mood. I'm too tired. I've got a headache. There's a half dozen to a dozen reasons. And truthfully, the real reason is I don't want you anymore. I have no desire for that. I'm not interested in how to get that broken and get Christ back in that marriage. So you can find the ordinance of First Corinthians 7 deals very strongly with sexual relationships in the marriage and how to get those uh, relationships set properly with the dominion of God and the, pro and the ordinances so that you can get dominion set on the earth in this marriage. So <clears throat> she worked it very good this morning and shared with it. And then we did a lot of counseling and bishoping the souls of some marriages today and handling some of the issues that they struggle with that have brought them conflict. So some of the marriages that struggle in this area, they came and asked that we need help to get beyond it. So. We took a few hours today and a few couples and on the river here around the campfire and walked them through some of their conflicts. It's a great opportunity to see Jesus Christ. Seven days you're committed to just Christ really dealing with you strongly, working it to get that relationship straightened out and in line with the Word of God. And lots of the problems and the conflicts of these marriages or any relationship, they try to go horizontal. Uh, which is really primarily the laws of, of self to self. And psychology, human souls cannot bishop human souls. It takes the Spirit of God to do that. And so what you have to do is if the couple will, each one will align themselves to Jesus Christ vertically, Christ being the point of the top of the triangle, and if he will align himself to the Word and go straight up, that triangle to Christ, and she lines herself the Word and goes to Christ. And the closer they get to Christ, the closer they get to one another in unity in one flesh. So the principles of unity in the Word of God is to bring the husband and wife into one flesh, one flesh principle. It's a powerful teaching, powerful revelation of that two shall become one. It doesn't happen by just getting married. It comes by each one unifying themselves not to one another, but to Christ himself. So if my wife Crystal can unite her heart to the Word of God and be what the Bible says a wife is, and I unite my heart to Christ and do what His says is the husband's role, then we both have a great marriage. So I'm not married to the woman that I want, and she's not married to the man that she wants. Uh, we're just both married to each other with what Christ wants. So I don't try to conform her to my image and likeness. I'm not a God. And uh, she doesn't try to conform me to her image and likeness. She's not a God. We have one tuning fork, and it's not each other. It's the key of C, Christ.